In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove noise in DaVinci Resolve Free Edition. Okay, you'll see here I've got some audio and there's quite a lot of background noise going on. All right, hi Mike. This is a grand tour of um, our garden. Lots and lots of background noise. Now, if I was using the studio, the paid edition of DaVinci Resolve, I could immediately hop into the voice isolation preset. It's absolutely fantastic. It's amazing. It really does isolate the voice with very little work required from the user. So that's why I love it. But it's not to say that you can't do really good noise reduction in DaVinci Resolve free. You just need to know what effect to use and how to set it up. So watch what I do. Here we'll go back to the beginning of the clip and we'll go to the audio track that it's on, audio track 12, over here in our mixer. And you'll see here I've got a space to put effects in. I'm not going to do anything else to this channel. I'm just simply going to hit the plus symbol here and I'm going to look for restoration and go for Fairlight Effects noise reduction. Here it is. Now, we'll make sure that we reset the noise profile so there's nothing there when we get started. And then we're going to switch to auto speech mode and start playing. All right. Hi, Mike. This is a grand tour. Of oh, actually not bad. You know what? It's already started to do a little bit of noise reduction there, but I think we can do a bit more. So how does this work? Well, if we turn threshold up, that's going to reduce the noise even more. Have a listen. All right. Hi, Mike. This is a grand tour of um, our garden. And then we can dial in attack to be tight and sensitivity to be a lot better. Don't judge. It hasn't been a great year. And you'll hear how it's working quite aggressively. It's also reducing some of the high end frequencies in the voice. So be careful how you dial this. I'm going to rewind it back and start dialing a bit more. All right. Hi, Mike. This is a grand tour of um, our garden. Don't judge. It hasn't been okay, we've got some fairly decent things going on there. We can switch the smoothing up just to make that noise reduction sound a bit yeah. better. All right. Hi, Mike. This is uh, Grant. And then finally, once we've dialed these in, so ratio around the middle, sensitivity up quite high, increase the threshold. I could probably do that a bit more, up to minus 11.5. Tour of um, our garden. Now we can mix between dry and wet signal. Now, if we go dry signal... Don't judge. It hasn't been... All the noise is back, but if we go to wet signal, we'll hear how the noise is removed. Great here. We had lots of slugs. So let's have a look. Right, I can do that and presumably I can still turn things around. So you'll hear as I go to 100% wet there. All right, hi Mike. This is uh, The noise has completely gone, but the spoken audio is a bit glitchy. It's a bit sort of washed out and robotic. This is a problem with the noise reduction uh, preset. It can do so much, but overuse of it will indeed reduce the quality of your recording. We can pump up the level to make it sound better. Grand tour of um, our garden. Don't judge. It hasn't been a great year. And let's switch it off. <laughs> So let's have a look. Right, I can do that. And So you'll hear how definitely there's been a reduction in quality, but we can go and fix that a tiny bit by using the EQ preset on this audio track. Double click the EQ line over here, and we might go ahead and just bump up a little bit of the high end and see what a difference that makes. All right. Hi, Mike. This is a grand tour of um, our garden. And we can actually go ahead and switch on band one and roll off some of the low end too. Judge, it hasn't been a great year. Now, obviously, it's not an ideal form of noise reduction. There's a lot of loss in quality of voice, but it has indeed pulled out most of the background noise. Now, you could go ahead and further dial in this noise reduction preset to maybe ease off the threshold a bit, pull the ratio down, pull the sensitivity down, maybe pull the dry and wet signal down a bit. Lots of slags. <laughs> So let's have a look. So you get a happy medium where there's a little bit of background noise, but not as much as there was. And that is how you remove the background noise, make things sound a lot better in DaVinci Resolve Free Edition. I do strongly recommend, though, upgrading to DaVinci Resolve Studio. If you want to do professional voice isolation, there's a great paid preset in the paid version that will really do a significantly better job. But it's not impossible in the free edition. And also, also, if you want to sound better, maybe you've done this noise reduction and you want to apply a preset that will quickly boost your signal, make things sound much better, check out my audio presets for DaVinci Resolve and the link will be down in the description right down there, down below.